Hello, this is Kerry Baird, and this is my demo video for my brand new plugin, Fresh Bundle Master. And this is actually the second demo video I've done. This time I'm doing a very, very quick one because I realized the first one was 30 minutes long. So my challenge today is to get this in five minutes or less. So I'm gonna go through everything very quickly, but keep in mind, there is a longer video so you can see more details and find out more. Okay, so what is this plugin all about? Now, Fresh Model Master, we created this because we wanted to maximize the amount of Amazon commissions you can make from one customer. Now, let me explain what that is. Normally, in a, in a situation where you're promoting Amazon, you have one product, you have a link to that product, you have an image, you write a little bit of information about it, your visitor comes along, they click that link, they go to Amazon, they buy, and you get the commission, right? So the idea of this is we add several products together in a related way into a bundle when your visitor now comes to the blog they click to buy all those products at once and instead of getting one commission you get five six seven eight however many it might be okay so the best way to show you show you this and to get you to understand this is uh, to give you an example so here we go here i am on my demo blog for fresh bundle master and as you can see this is just a normal post or page on the blog on the website I've written a little bit of content about it, but this is what the plugin actually does here. This whole section that you can see, we've got eight products and we have one buy now button and we have the total price together for all these products. Now, as you'll see in a little bit, I'll show you how we create this bundle. But what we've done is we've picked all these products by hand, we've grouped them all together. And this is, this. the idea of this is it's a great package for a barbecue. Not only are you choosing the best barbecue that they can buy, you're recommending all the right accessories to go along with it. And this is what I meant by it's great, you could promote a barbecue, you could make your six, seven, eight percent commission on that. But with this approach, you can add an extra seven products on top of that. And most likely the customer, if you're gonna give them the right recommendations, they're gonna go ahead and buy that. Or they may they might knock a couple of products off and say, Oh, I've already got the seasoning, I've already got a cookbook, but they'll most likely buy most of those products in that bundle. So that's what we're all about here. So I'll just show you the process. Very simple, the customer comes on, they see the products, they've got one buy, but buy now button, they click on it, and in this situation, we're going straight through, we're going onto Amazon, and continue. This, just, this is just the interim page where they confirm the products they want to add to the basket, continue, and there we go. So they've all just been added straight to the basket. They can now go and check out they can adjust the quantities they want here if they want to, they can remove some products or whatever they want to do. Um, and yeah, so that's that's exactly how it works. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of how you actually create a bundle in the admin area because this process is very simple, it's very intuitive, and it makes it very easy to actually create a relevant bundle. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and search for a product like an iPad. This is now querying Amazon, and we're getting all the iPads from Amazon, in this case, Amazon America, but we have all the other locales, UK, all the European ones, etc. I'm gonna choose the top one. It shows you a little bit more information about it. Add this to the bundle, and now we've started the bundle. We've got one product in there. Okay, so now what, what the system is doing is it's going away and it's finding the related products, which is Amazon's data, which is Amazon's recommendations. So you, you can see you've got things like the leather case, I like it, we'll add it to the bundle. And we've got some screen protector. Great, add that to the bundle. And we'll do one more. So we've got a, yeah, rotating stand. Okay, so maybe those are a bit too similar, but if you were to do the bundle yourself, you can work these out um, exactly how you want them. So now we've done that, finish and save the bundle. Very simple, you just got a confirmation page. You can change the quantities. Now in this case, if you wanted to, I don't know, if, say we went back to our barbecue example, if you wanted to, to add two lots of seasoning or you can even have steaks and, and food products, you can have two lots of that. This is where you can adjust it and you can recommend that the customer has four of those. Now if you just enter a name for this, this is my iPad bundle. This is just for your reference at the moment. Save the bundle and we should have now a list of all the bundles that we've already got. These are all the ones from our demo store. We've got different ones with coffee, baking, PC tools, all kinds of things. These are now saved and ready to use. So they're not live on your store yet. And in the next step, I'm gonna show you how you can add them to a post. 
Okay, so this is how you add a bundle to your post, but you can do exactly the same thing for a page. Uh, same process. I've just gone in to edit the post. I'm going to decide whereabouts in the post I want it to go. I'm going to put it at the end. And you can see you have this little insert bundle icon. Click on that. And we have all the bundles that we've created already. And there's my iPad bundle that I just, just created. Select that, select next. And you can choose a layout. We have five layouts at the moment. Um, the one with, that we saw in the example at the start, we also have a spinner, which is nice JavaScript effect that spins the products around. We have an info list, which lists the products just one underneath the other. We have a, a focus, which is focused on one particular product. And this is good for the iPad one, so I'll choose that. Because the iPad is the main focus of the bundle, and then all the rest are kind of supporting products. And then we also have one photo tiles, which is suitable to some niches because it leaves out the product name, it leaves out the price, um, apart from the total price, and it just gives more focus on the actual product picture itself, which is suitable for clothing niches and things like that. Okay, so next, with each different layout, you get some customization options. I won't go into them, but this is where you can have a little bit more control. And after that, we have a preview of the bundle. As you can see, that's how it's going to look in this layout. Uh, the options, the products that we chose and the button. So I'll click save and what you will get now is is this short code automatically generated for you. All you have to do from here is click update and it will go live on your site on that post. Okay we've gone a little bit over the time, we're just over six minutes which um, which I hope you'll forgive me for but I think we've covered everything and just given a brief overview. All I'm going to do now is just show you a few of the examples that we've done on our demo. Uh, just to give you an idea of the different kinds of bundles you can create. So here we've got one for a little scientist bundle. I'm just going to click into that one to show you a bit more. So in here we've got the main focus is the, the, the kids telescope. We've also got um, different supporting products, books. I'm not quite sure what this is actually. A lab coat, that kind of thing. It's a great, great idea. It's just great for content as well. It's great to give your visitors an idea of what other products they could buy with it. Even if they don't buy them all, they're most likely to buy a lot of them or get some good ideas. And um, I think it does a great service to your visitors as well. In that sense, you're picking all the best products to go along with it. We've got an Xbox bundle, which focuses on the Xbox. Then you've got all the related products with it. Santa's Little Helper Christmas bundle for decorations. Um, a coffee bundle, a baking bundle. Another great idea is recipes. If you do a recipe, you can list all the ingredients, all the, all the stuff you need, a pan certain type of pan, a certain type of spatula, all that kind of thing. If you go onto the freshbundlemaster.com website, we also have loads more examples to show you on there um, to give you some inspiration, to give you some ideas. Now this one, uh, I'll show you the, the spinner spinner bundle here. And this is the coffee one, which is a niche quite close to my heart. I like coffee a lot. Uh, we've got the espresso maker, we've got a tampo, which helps with the, the pressing of the coffee, thermometer, all this kind of stuff that you can buy all together and, and you can kind of justify in your content. These are the things that we've chosen for you. This is the best coffee to go with it. This is the best accessory. You need this to clean it. And you can really persuade your, your customers to, your visitors to, to buy uh, several products at the same time. And that's what it's all about. It's about maximizing your commissions from Amazon. Okay, I'll leave that there. That was the demo video for Fresh Bundle Master. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check the website and if you want to find out more about the plugin and you want to watch more of uh, my video, then there is a longer demo video, which you'll find a link to. Okay, that's great. See you now. Bye.